morning my friends an impromptu um, mailbag I had to think what it was called um, I think I know what it is but we'll uh, open it together I uh, don't think there's any wires in here so I'm quite safe using my uh... oh yeah Right, these are um, 12 volt, 200 amp uh, relays. Now, what these are for is um, part of my uh, Powerwall um, control system. I mean, they're, they're really beefy contacts, so yeah, I can imagine it at 200 amps. But I only need maximum 100 amps, because I shan't be uh, using anything else. I've got these from uh, AliExpress. I think they were sort of like eight quid each or something like that. I can't remember but I'll, I'll try and look it up and link it down below. Um, you've got two contacts for the coils here. Spade terminals because uh, these are obviously um, used in uh, vehicles uh, probably like um, lorries or cars. Anyway um, what they're for is I'm going to hopefully be able to um, switch the uh, solar panels so that I can um, control it a bit better. Um, Whether I, in the back of my mind, I don't think it's going to work. Um, but as you know, I'm forever positive, so I'm not positive that it won't work. Um, now, uh, the other thing, I've uh, done a couple of mod modifications. No, um, no, one modification to um, the battery board, but we'll, we'll talk about that in another video. But uh, yeah, I just want you to uh, see the arrival of this, this pair. And uh, the other thing I could use it for, which I've used it in the past when I had um, the prototype system wired in, uh, in the flat, um, why am I pausing? I have no idea. Right, uh, yeah, for switching the um, supply on and off to the inverter so that um, the fuse board would send a signal out to the lab which would then fire up a, a small relay probably like one of these on here uh, to switch the inverter on and also the, the, that small relay to pull these two in to feed the power wall into the inverter um, that's the way I had it before and it worked very well, very well. I was able to use um, my uh, mains uh, lamp. Uh, so this isn't a mains one, but this is one of my lamps. Uh, that one was up in the bathroom for uh, the prototype. Uh, the bathroom's already got one uh, up ready uh, on the final. 
and then I've just got the others put up. But also, I'm uh, going to uh, be powering my computer setup, that is the fibre routers, the computer, and everything else off the um, power wall as soon as possible. And I'll, I'll get round to showing you the, the uh, power wall batteries properly uh, as I said in another video, so you've got something to look forward to. Right, well that's it for this post bag, and um, let's get on with the video, shall we? We're impromptu post bag. Um, I know what's in here, but I'll show you in a minute. It's for an experiment I want to do when I get the um, solder paste to come through. And it involves my light boards. If it works, it means I can build a lot more lights a lot quicker. Now, <clears throat> let's get on and mess up and see what we got. No wires. Right, <clears throat> what I have here is a syringe. and a blunt needle. If it came with a, a sharp needle, I wouldn't have uh, bought it. There we go. Um, just a, yeah, 10 milliliter. Yeah. 10 milliliter. Now let's get the sun out of here. There we go. Tumbling liter syringe. <clears throat> yep, I think that will do the job nicely. Now I've got something else coming for this project. Um, it's uh, If this works, it's going to save me a lot of time. Um, and also I'll be able to put um, paste on these boards a lot easier. But we'll have to uh, wait and see what happens. Um, when it comes through, what I'm going to do is just do a couple of lines to start with, just to see what it goes like. And um, take it from there. Okay, that's the post bag out of the way. Now then, what's this alien been up to? Well, I've had to. Did I show you these boards? I can't remember. Anyway, these are my um, Powerwall battery boards. They take 35 cells, because there's seven in a row, and there's five rows. They're all individual on the board, and um, using one uh, push-button wireless disconnector. This is um, modifications, by the way. Uh, the board for the next batch of um, boards uh, has been modified to incorporate all the mod this mod so that um, when you want to check the fuse you just press the button if there's any fuses blown uh, they'll show up um, I've already done one and that's out on the fridge 
um, being topped off by the solar panel. Not only put that on this morning, so um, that won't be uh, ready for a while. Um, I've got plenty of uh, cells, as you could imagine, to uh, make the uh, battery out of. And for those of you who are new, these are the cells I use. I got them off of FreeCycle. And I am under, I mean this is three years ago that I got these, something like that. If you have a look at my other videos on, my, on this channel, you'll um, find all about them. But um, these are 6 amp hours at 4.2 or 3.7 as uh, most of you would like to say is fully charged. But um, absolute full charge is 4.2 but I'm only charging these to 4 volts each. Uh, no, I'm not balancing them. Um, simple check can uh, keep that uh, could keep that um, Right, the balancing check can um, look after that every now and again, you know, once every six months, something like that. And uh, the way I've uh, built the Powerwall uh, battery, on um, what case I'm putting it in, I will show you. So I'll just move this post bag out of the way for a minute. Well, until the other bit comes in. Here we go. I might have to take you back out for this. I'll have a look at the camera and we'll go from there. Yeah, you've got to come out a bit for that, won't you? Oops, wrong way. I'm always doing things the wrong way, am I? <laughs> Just move that over that way a bit. There we go. Right, a cotter pin which isn't um, fixed in is just to when you grab the battery to pull it off the shelf. It doesn't uh, uh, come away from the lid. Right. Now these boxes are what you put your extension leads in when you're doing your outside Christmas lights, that sort of thing. And I've modified them for this. <coughs> now this uh, battery hasn't had the um, modification done. These will be done um, over the next uh, few days. Now <coughs> the pink one is power out and the yellow one is solar in or wind turbine or hydro uh, turbine. Whatever you, however you are going to charge your Powerwall batteries, I use yellow to say it's from a you know alternative energy source. <coughs> um, not a lot to say. Uh, each each pack of cells is fused by the original fuse. It was in the uh, other packs, like this. Remember those? That's two packs glued together. Sorry about the sun. I break them apart, strip them down, <coughs> check them by putting on putting them uh, on charge which I'll show you the charging board in a minute. And um, when they're fully charged, that's when I do the assembly. I know a lot of you are going to go, what? You assemble with uh, 
fully charged servers. Yeah, I, I do. That's the way I do it because it's no good soldering, uh, soldering them all into the uh, battery and then find you've got two or three sort of duff. Common sense, really, when you think about it. I know you could charge them up and then discharge them, but that's a cycle that has no use. This way, when they discharge, it'd be because they've got a load on. This is a 25 amp automotive fuse. Um, the reason for the 25, I get this open, there we go. The reason for the 25 is because this is a 30 amp hour battery pack. I think <laughs> my mathematics aren't uh, all that clever. Yeah, I know it's uh, all to do with pi and power and all the rest of it. But uh, that's me. No brain is disease. The only alien in the universe with no brain. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, this is the um, battery. The push button which I uh, spoke about earlier, will go by this fuse about down there, so like that. not too far in, so I can get the cables out and uh, it's easy to do up. So um, that'll be okay, push to the bank. Uh, it's what they call momentary, I think. Yeah, momentary push button. I've got enough to do... Oops, they're all coming out. I've got this to do about nine, I think, eight or nine, and I can uh, get some more. Um, so far I've done three of these. Uh, it's uh, slow going because, pardon me, I have to uh, keep stopping because I can't sit in this chair for too long. But February the 1st, I'll be able to. That's when I go in and um, have the nerve released from the base of my spine. It's only a, a day operation, I think I told you that. The, um, the way the, the fuses, fuse indicators work is as I had on my original prototype, where you've got um, uh, resistor and LED in series across the fuse and then there's a another resistor and there's now a diode with the resistor that um, goes from the positive of each pack so you get on each uh, positive only only one just a positive uh, output and uh, they then, in parallel, all the way down. So you've got a resistor, diode, stop back feed, coming down to the push button. The push button then goes to the negative, and that's it. Job done. Uh, there is a plastic window which I put in here. So you can just press the button, look through there. If you see a red light, you know you've blown the fuse. Um, let's see if I can show you the fuse. There's a little light just to show you how bright it is. I think I can do it. Am I on the right side of that? Yeah, you should, yeah, you should be able to do that. Okay, here we go. Hang on. I'll just uh, take you in. And there it is, that one there. I can't see on this screen very well. Oh yeah, there's the LED, I can see the reflection on my finger now. And then uh, you just change the fuse, and once you change the fuse,
the lead goes out. <coughs> but what, what I've been doing is um, I've been building one battery up, finding enhancements, and then uh, implement, implementing them on the uh, next board that I get made. I haven't made in batches of five, so I've only got five to modify. Uh, all the modified ones um, in the prototype of this design are going into my power wall and the ones that I'll be getting, which is the next batch that I order, um, they will, they will um, incorporate the um, push button system as well. And they will go to my friend Doug, who's uh, helping me with a big project. And it's, um, And that project is going to be pretty good. Um, it's going to be a very big unboxing. Just got to try and figure out how to get it in. <laughs> but that's for another video. Right, my friends. So now you've seen what the new design of battery is like. And why... Why do I want something like this? Why not just have the Why not just have the batteries like that? I'm not a perfectionist, but um, I think it's just the way that Eric taught me because uh, I like to see anything that I complete in a, in, a, in a nice box, which these are, these are very nice. And, um, you know, it's, it, it makes it look more professional. I'm not a professional by any means, but um, yeah, I think that's what it is. It makes it look more professional. And if you're wondering about Dolly Year, It's just to protect those pins from getting shorted. Well, these are um, plugs off of cables that have gone enough. I get them off free cycle. People are saying there's a load of computer cables. And uh, I go and see them and they're, you know, they've been scuffed, they've been cut and all the rest of it. So I, I keep the plugs purely for that. So that uh, it, it renders the battery safe to handle. Um, on mine, the uh, rack will take five of these uh, per shelf, and I think one, two, three, four. I think I'll have seven or eight shelves. I haven't measured it, so I have no idea. And uh, that'll look at, look after everything in the lab and everything in the flat, so um, that's going to be good. Oh yes, before I forget, I've got a little project here with a honey jar. Really nice. And uh, if it works, and I see no reason why it shouldn't, then uh, that's going to be quite a revelation. So uh, keep an eye out for my video with honey jar. Oops, there you go. <coughs> Oh yeah, the diodes that I do in the, mod are in the modification of um, these is just a bog standard 1M4007 
but uh, in the um, final PCB there are going to be um, 12 or 6 SMDs. That's that. I think that um, well, I can show you something else. Right. <coughs> the control panel for the for the flat. <coughs> Excuse me. Now then. Um, can I bring you in a little bit more? Oh, it's going away, Raymond. Which way do I want to go? No, that way. Okay. I won't uh, muck about anymore. <coughs> These are the fused outputs. Bath light, kitchen light, front room light, all the way down. Um, these are, well this, is uh, one of those fob lights. I know fob lights, pillock. Uh, fob relays, you know you press them and the relay latches and then you press it to get uh, press it off and away it goes. This is a um, DC to DC step down converter. 24 volts coming in. Um, 12, uh, 12 12.6 volts going out and you get positive and negative rails so that the positives for each relay unit comes off of here common um, negative so that each one will have its own negative coming down to the common negative the reason for that is, if one goes down, stops working, it means I can take it out without disconnecting any of the others. That's why I've done it that way. Uh, the positives for them will come off that rail individually. The negatives comes off of this rail. And then on the outputs, you've got pos and neg, 12.6 volts. And... Uh, Switching them on is a fob on and off. Now, I th can show you, uh, with a bit of jiggery poker, I can show you it working. Right. We'll turn it off. There's pause. There's neck. Um, I'll work with because 24 volts in that should then activate it. Right, let's uh, get a meter in. Uh, can you see? You can just about see that, I think. Okay. That's positive on the output. That's negative on the output. Um, can I? Yeah, I think you can see that and I can see that. I'm just going to operate the fob that's already in place.
you know something? It works better with the power supply switched on, doesn't it? Tell you what, if I have brains. I doubt. Alien has a question. And this alien also has a theory. The question is where is Atlantis? I'll let you know later of my theory. So uh, there you go, that's the uh, board for uh, controlling the the electric uh, in the flat. Um, as you know from uh, the prototype, uh, I cannot hook into the fuse box uh, because uh, these are um, what I call shelters homes. Um, I can't muck about with the electric. So I everything I do I have to do in parallel um, with it. So that if this fails, I've automatically got all the electric still here. Um, right. Uh, these are um, five amps. Use a 5 amp uh, blade fuse. And the reason I'm using blade fuse, fuses is because um, lorries and cars use them so they're uh, readily available and cheap enough so that uh, you know I, I, I never run out. Also um, there's no glass so if it went Critically bang, there wouldn't be glass bits flying everywhere. Um, this is just a piece of MDF board. It was um, the bottom of one of my um, yellow batteries. Uh, the two uh, dowels in the top are going to make a metal case. Um, there'll be a magnet on the bottom and two holes in the magnetic case, uh, two holes in the top of the case. Uh, they would just sit on there, it'll close, and a piece of metal on here will match the uh, magnet and that'll be it. It'll keep it closed. And it's just a case in an emergency of just pulling it and lifting it off. Uh, the panel, I mean, not the cover, not the panel. Right, ideas. And um, I just want to say uh, hi to Neela, a friend of mine in uh, Brazil. Right. Well, that's it for this uh, video, I think. And a couple of post bags. Information about the uh, power wall batteries, control panel for the flat. It's looking good. Hopefully, uh, by ne next uh, video, I'll have uh, found my uh, others that I've got. I've got a load of them here somewhere. Um, i rushing, packing everything away to get the clear out. Um, yeah, really pleased with that. Right my friends, that's a good one. And don't forget, please, thumbs up if you like it, or thumbs down if you don't. And um, if you're new here, I'd be very, uh, very pleased if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you have a look on my uh, other videos, you'll see what I'm about. And if you hit the bell icon, so it goes black, 
then you'll get notified every time I upload. So my friends, nice to talk to you again and uh, I'll see you next week.